No, not really. Not, not unless one accepts uh, President Putin's twisted narrative that, that is fairly unrelated to facts. Uh, I'm surprised that even in Western Europe, the argument is, is put forward or is accepted that somehow this war is a reaction to an aggressive eastward expansion of NATO. I think that overlooks that the Eastern European states are sovereign states. Entering alliances is an element of state sovereignty. They, they wanted to join NATO and so does the Ukraine. And uh, actually the, the current development makes it very obvious why these states want to join NATO. Yes, it is interesting that even in this situation, somehow Russia apparently feels the need to justify its actions under international law. Uh, yet these actions, in fact, are straight out of the playbook of a war of aggression. I think there's no justification under international law. First, uh, Russia stoked ethnic conflict in a neighboring region. Uh, then it recognizes two secessionist entities. And finally, it invokes the right to collective self-defense. Now, it is, of course, true that that is a right that is codified in the United Nations Charter, but the preconditions for lawful self-defense are not met in this case in any way. These entities are, leg are illegal, uh, hence they cannot invoke the right to lawful self-defense. There was no Ukrainian attack, uh, certainly not on the, on, on the territory of another state. And in any way, the Russian response is certainly not proportional. Also, uh, actually, a, a, a situation of self-defense should be immediately reported to the U UN Security Council. Yet we see that Russia even denies the uh, existence of an armed conflict. Well, it is a fundamental principle uh, of the United Nations. It's codified in the United Nations Charter, Article 2, Paragraph 4, that the use of force against the territorial integrity of a state is illegal. Uh, since the Second World War, even before the Second World War, occupation as a way of acquiring territory has been banned under international law. Uh, and that is the reason why, for instance, the annexation of the Crimean by Russia in 2014 was also illegal and has not been recognized internationally. Well, that, that is an interesting question, because when the Soviet Union dissolved, that was actually based on a that dissolution was formalized by the then presidents of Russia, Belarus, and the Ukraine. So it, it's very peculiar that now Russia might claim uh, that this was somehow illegal. Uh, this dissolution took place in accordance with the existence with the existing uh, orders of the former Soviet Republic. Also, uh, Ukraine was was at the point of dissolution. It was actually. Uh, the holder of the third largest pile of nuclear weapons worldwide. And when in 1994, Ukraine gave up its, its nuclear weapons, Russia undertook a formal obligation in the uh, Budapest Memorandum to respect and protect Ukrainian sovereignty within its existing borders. <laughs> 